There have been a number of changes in the last few months to the line of succession. With the death of Queen Elizabeth II in September 2022, her eldest son Charles became king and everyone below him in the line of succession moved up a space. So let's get started. Currently, King Charles III is the monarch of the United Kingdom and has seven direct descendants, two sons and five grandchildren. So these seven individuals are the first seven in the line of succession. The United Kingdom follows the hereditary system known as primogeniture, meaning the throne passes from the firstborn to firstborn, not from sibling to sibling. So first in the line of succession is King Charles' eldest son, Prince William, Prince of Wales. William is married to Catherine Middleton, who is not in the line of succession, as she married into the family. She is the Princess of Wales, a title usually given to the wife of the Prince of Wales. After Prince William are his three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis of Wales, who are second, third and fourth in the line of succession respectively. Before 2013, the UK used to follow male preference primogeniture, meaning sons were given priority over daughters. Under this system, Prince Louis would rank higher than his sister, Princess Charlotte. But now the United Kingdom follows absolute primogeniture, which means the succession follows birth order. After Prince William's children comes Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, the younger son of King Charles. Prince Harry is married to Meghan Markle, who is now known as the Duchess of Sussex, taking the feminine version of her husband's title. Some people think that Prince Harry and his children should be removed from the line of succession because of what he has said about the monarchy and because he has stepped back from being a working royal. However, this is not how the succession works. King Charles cannot revoke his son nor his grandchildren's place in the line of succession. Only Parliament can do so and they are unlikely to do this as Prince Harry is fifth in the line of succession and unlikely to ever become monarch. Prince Harry, his wife Meghan and their children still hold the right to use the style the Royal Highnesses and it's unclear if Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet will use that style as their parents choose not to. After Prince Harry, are his two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet of Sussex, who are sixth and seventh in the line of succession. After Princess Lilibet is not Princess Anne, Princess Royal, but King Charles' younger brother, Prince Andrew, Duke of York. In 2013, absolute primogeniture was passed. But before 2013, male preference primogeniture was followed, as I mentioned earlier. Because Anne was born before the change in succession laws and it is not retroactive, she is placed behind Prince Andrew and Prince Edward and their descendants. Prince Andrew, Duke of York, is eighth in the line of succession. For many years, Prince Andrew was close friends with Geoffrey Epstein, a convicted child SA offender and Prince Andrew himself was under allegations of SA of a minor. Because of this, Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Andrew's mother, removed all of his patronages and military titles, as well as the right to use the style His Royal Highness. However, no person is ever removed from the line of succession, regardless if they commit a crime and are sent to prison. A person can only be removed from the line of succession by death, an act of parliament, or by abdicating if they become monarch, as was the case with King Edward VIII who abdicated in 1936 to marry his wife Wallace Simpson. Prince Andrew also still holds the title of Duke of York. Prince Andrew was married for a number of years to Sarah Ferguson, but they divorced in the 1990s. Together they have two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Princess Beatrice is ninth in the line of succession and is married to Eduardo Mappley-Mozzi. They have one daughter together, Sienna, who is tenth in the line of succession. 
Princess Beatrice is also a stepmother to Eduardo's son, Christopher, from a previous relationship. That child, nor Eduardo, are in the line of succession, as spouses and stepchildren are never included. Neither are adopted children, as to be in the line of succession, you have to be a biological descendant of the current monarch or a previous monarch. Princess Eugenie is 11th in the line of succession, and she is married to Jack Brooksbank. They have one son called August, who is 12th in the line. Their uncle, Prince Edward, Duke of Edinburgh, King Charles's youngest brother, is next. He is 13th in the line of succession. Prince Edward is married to Sophie Rhys Jones, who is known as the Duchess of Edinburgh. Their children are Lady Louise Mountbatten Windsor and James Earl of Wessex. Both of their children were born before 2013, so the law that changed the succession rules was not in effect for them. This means James is ahead of his sister Louise in the line of succession at 14th in the line of succession, while Louise is 15th in the line of succession. After Prince Edward's children is Princess Anne, Princess Royal, the King's only sister. Princess Anne was previously married to Mark Phillips, and they had two children together, Peter and Zara. Princess Anne and Mark Phillips divorced in the 1990s, and Princess Anne married Timothy Lawrence. Peter and Zara do not hold the title of Prince and Princess, because they are of the female line. Their mother chose not to receive a title, nor to have her children receive titles. Princess Anne is 16th in the line of succession, and her son, Peter, is 17th in the line of succession. He married Autumn Kelly in 2008, but they divorced in 2021. Their daughters Savannah and Isla are 18th and 19th in the line of succession, respectively. Peter's sister Zara is 20th and is married to Mike Tyndall. They have three children together, Mia, Lena and Lucas, who are 21st, 22nd and 23rd in the line of succession, respectively. So that is all of the descendants of the former monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. The next person in the line of succession is a descendant of Queen Elizabeth II's sister, Princess Margaret, Countess of Snowdon, who passed away in 2002. The line of succession does not end there, and there are thousands of people in the line of succession, including the King of Norway, who sits at around 86th in the line of succession. Being that most people of British descent can trace a line back to some medieval English king, it begs the question, can every British person claim a place in the line of succession? The answer is no. Laws were passed that only Protestant descendants of Sophia of the Palatinate, the mother of King George I of Great Britain, can claim a place in the line of succession. This is why the Jacobite line, which is more senior, does not currently hold the throne. So that was a look at the current line of succession to the British throne. Thanks for watching.